want to bring back a conversation that the health minister has been having on the Super Morning Show. First, he starts uh, off talking about challenges that he came to meet as Minister of Health. He also talks about the no bird crisis that we've been faced with. Uh, not recently, but it's come up strongly. Here's health minister on the Super Morning Show. I came to meet the health sector. Apparently, initial observations and what I saw wasn't the best that anybody who had come in there would cheer up for. There were challenges. We had the rears sitting down for creditors, those who have supplied to us that we have been paid and other obligations, close to about 134 million Ghana city. That was sitting only in Ministry of Health. Apart from that, we have um, a global alliance for vaccines that supply us with some parts of the vaccines we use for immunization for children. And you know our target is that all kids in the country should be immunized. When we joined, we do some arrangement with Gavi. We have something called co-funding. So we pay for some of the vaccines and they give us the greater part of it. We defaulted 2016, so nothing had been paid for 2016. And 2017 came to add up. And there were threats from Gavi that they weren't going to supply us with, how do I call it, vaccines. We have seen several audit queries and infractions against Ghana Health Service and the Ministry for mismanaging of global funds assets, monies that global funds give us to control three big areas. You know, we had problems and they were demanding recoveries. You know, the Central America source got bent, mm -hmm. and in there, Gavi had, sorry, Global Fund had commodities worth over $27 million. And by their rules, they were demanding payment of these. In the process, the ministry has signed an agreement with Global Fund that they should do certain things. And at any stage, we call the milestones, they will forgive some part of the recoveries. None had been tackled. Four of them, they had defaulted, all of them, by end 2016. Um, we were not recruiting new nurses, and for nearly four years, they were sitting home without employment. The government had withdrawn um, allowances that were being paid to nurses, and there were several other challenges. Condoms have been procured by Ghana Health Service, close to about $3.8 million. Not a single one was good to be used. And Global Fund was also demanding for recoveries for that. Um, apart from that, we had an engagement with the European Union and other donors who were supporting us to equip some of our facilities to enable us to achieve the milestones or the targets for the program we call uh, Millennium Accelerated Framework. In that, we had actually signed contracts for supplies to supply. They had paid 50% uh, mobilization fee. And suppliers had started bringing in the equipment that we could put into the facilities. When I looked at the template of how much... Kwekua mm. Jemaimeinu, the Minister for Health. Yeah, uh, we apologize. We're unable because of time to bring you uh, that full interview. but. News desk will carry details of what the minister said, including the situation with the no bird. That will be on news desk, which is at 10 a.m. This is where we have to end the show, but not before we say thank you to our partners for bringing us the updates of the National Science and Mass Quiz, Roland. Uh, we know that uh, it's been brought to us by Eastway Savings and Loans, Kingdom Books and Stationery, as well as um, Penswold. Yeah, Penswold, Key Brilliant Soap and Newmont's Ghana Gold Limited. There will be more updates uh, all through this morning, so stay with us and make sure you don't miss any bit of the National Science Mask Quiz. We want to say happy birthday to our colleague, Joseph Logosu, uh, from the sound department. It's your birthday today, Mr. Logosu. Enjoy your birthday from all of us. Have a wonderful birthday. Bye-bye. Make sure that you join us same time tomorrow from 6 to 9, right here on the show, Joy News. Well, we'll always bring you more. Please uh, stay on throughout the rest of the day on the channel because we have a lot more programming. Thanks for your company. See you soon. Bye.